I'm thrilled to be here to bring you the latest updates on our team's journey through the playoffs. And let me tell you, folks, the rivalry between the Boston Bruins and the Toronto Maple Leafs is reaching boiling point after the Bruins' nail-biting 4-2 victory in Game 3. Now, let's dive into the heart of the matter. Bruins forward Trent Frederick and head coach Jim Montgomery wasted no time in stirring the pot, calling out our very own Max Domi for his alleged bump of Boston goalie Jeremy Swayman during Game 3. Adding fuel to the fire, they hinted that perhaps Swayman's stellar performance is starting to get in Toronto's head. Quite the bold claim, wouldn't you agree? But hold on just a moment. Maple Leafs head coach Sheldon Keefe had a different take on the matter. He swiftly disagreed with his counterpart's assessment of the incident, standing firm in defense of his team. Swayman's brilliance between the pipes cannot be denied. With 28 stops in Game 3 alone, he played a crucial role in handing Boston a 2-1 series lead. And let's not forget his stellar 35-save performance in Game 1. However, the plot thickens as Bruins coach Montgomery has been keeping fans on their toes by rotating Swayman and Linus Ulmark in net for nearly 30 games since February, according to ESPN's Kristen Shilton. Despite Swayman's undeniable success against the Leafs, the burning question remains. Who will start in goal for the Bruins in Saturday's Game 4? Coach Montgomery remains tight-lipped, acknowledging the challenge of choosing between two exceptional goalies. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this update and want to stay ahead of all the action in the playoffs, be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up to show your support. As tensions rise and the stakes get higher, one thing is certain. The battle between the Bruins and the Leafs. What's your take on the goaltending dilemma facing the Bruins? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation buzzing.